Hey guys, in this episode, I'm going to show you exactly how I put together TikTok videos, the behind the scenes, how I do multiple text, how I put together so many different facets of TikTok videos, um, everything you want to know from transitions to edits to some of the functionalities of the app. We're going to have a ton of fun here together today, so I think we should just dive on in. So the first thing I'm going to show you is that there is the ability to flip your cam, which is pretty standard. Um, you have the option of choosing speeds or not. I always just leave that on just in case I want to use it. Um, we have beauty filter, which makes, of course, everyone look better or fake, depending on how you look at it. Uh, we have, <laughs> we can turn that back off, filters, which make your skin uh, and your overall appearance or whatever it is that you're shooting look a certain way. And you guys can probably tell it's super drastically different from each one to each one. Like, for example, this one makes me look like an albino ghost. And this one makes me look like a beautifully lightly bronzed beauty. So you want to play around with those to figure out what works best for you. I like like this one or this one. So then you have the ability to create a three second timer. You can add a 10 second timer to kind of go hands free and record. Now this is huge. I didn't understand for the longest time how people created edits and the edits are created here. They're literally created um, by dragging this red line in the hands-free three or second, 10 second timer. So select whether you want three or 10 seconds, and then you pick where, based on your audio, you want to cut it off. And then you're gonna go ahead and hit start countdown. Once that part is done, you can either just record the rest with hands-free, or you can come back in here again and add a second edit. So I'll show you guys kind of what that looks like. So for example, it might look like this. Let's say I want to have it, an edit come in here, which could be, for example, a before and after. Um, I would record myself with like my, my screen. Um, I would record myself in the before pose and then as soon as the edit or the beat drops or whatever, then the second part comes in. So let's start the countdown. Three, two, one, and we've got me, 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 more of me. And then I would go back into this, the hands-free self timer and you can either leave it as is or have a new transition as often as you want. Start the countdown again. And then this is me part two. Me, 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 me. Okay. So you guys are going to get the gist. This is how you do those edits without having to actually pull the software off the app and feel like you're leaving the whole experience. So, all right. Um, I'm going to show you guys a couple more things. So that, for example, there are a ton of effects. You're going to want to play around with these before you try to figure them out because it's kind of confusing um, because there's so many. There's trending, there's new, there's interactive, editing, beauty, funny. It goes on and on and there's a ton in each category. I like to check out what's trending and I find my favorite filters usually in there. So green screen is one of my favorites to use so you can put any photo behind you. And if you mix this with the technique I just taught you of splicing your videos, you can create different backgrounds behind you and you can just remove yourself for easier video um, video creation with photos this is a great way to put a compilage a compilage a compilation of photos together on TikTok so that's one of my favorite ways to do it okay so next up I'm going to show you guys oh let me just say one last time with the effects there's so many I couldn't even show you them all if I tried so I just want to recommend that you spend some time checking out what the different effects look like and a great way to know is by watching the videos in your for you page and seeing what videos are using because it's usually labeled with a little star. You'll be able to see what people are using. Um, the last thing that I'm going to show you guys is how I do, actually, I'll show you two more things, and that is how to do multiple text. So we'll do like, uh, I was going to put multiple, but that's way too much to spell right now. So we'll do text one, and then we create text two, and we create text three. And I like to position them on the screen and edit the, oops, I don't want to do that. Um, edit the text to look exactly how I want it to look before I start adding in the timing. So you can select the duration of your timing for your text. So let's say you wanted them to not overlap, but when one shows up, the next one disappears, etc. So this one, we want it to show up as soon as the phantom text one disappears and then disappear before text three comes on. So then I'm gonna edit text three and that was being difficult for some reason. There we go. 
I do have to say the in-app editing for text is a little tricky. I'm more of a fan of editing it out of the app, but I don't take the time to do that because TikTok's still a little bit of my side hobby that I love and that is slowly turning into a massive business generator. You know, that sounds like a lot of contradictory words, but whatever. Um, so text one disappears, text two shows up, text three. And you can also leave some on screen while other ones are still appearing and disappearing, which is kind of neat. So that's how I create all of my text. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you guys is how I create my um, transition videos. So if you want to do this, I don't do this a ton because they're, they're hard for me and I feel like I'm getting kind of old. Okay, Boomer. Um, what, I'm, what I want to do is change the speed to 3x, which means that it's going to film a lot slower so that when it plays, it, films a lot it uh, plays a lot faster than it films. So I'm going to do this with my right hand because it's hard for me to do this left-handed. So pretend... Um, Pretend this is a camera that's going to zoom in like this, and I don't want to do it too fast. I failed on that. Let's try it again. So see, this is why I don't do a ton of these, but it's helpful. Okay, so I held down the red button until it appeared. Okay, so now we're going to do this side. Okay, now we're going to do above. Actually, I'm going to do below first because there's one I learned that was really cool. Ready? And then... Oops. Uh, okay, so here's how this looks all together. Ready? So obviously those are really messy. Um, and I'm not the best in the world at transitions, and I'm okay with that. Let's delete that because I don't want those to go up. Um, but I hope that this serves you guys. Those are a couple of the different ways that I find some of my favorite techniques for creating videos. Um, one other thing that I recommend is if you don't have your own audio, Here's what you can do. So let me go ahead and delete these. So we're just going to create a new one from scratch. And you can select sounds. If I'm not using my own audio, this is a great way to go about it. So you can discover sounds. These are good for getting inspiration. You can also scroll through all their different genres on TikTok. But what I really like to do is usually just scroll through my For You page and get some research about what's trending, what um, what challenges I see are going on, anything that I think is funny or clever. If I can find the angle in it, I'm like, let's absolutely do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got a ton of value from this, comment below. Tell me everything that you loved about it, some of your biggest takeaways. Um, I, I kind of thrive off of attention, as I should probably record the TikTok video. Attention, attention, I need attention. Um, no, I love hearing that <laughs> I've served you in some way. Honestly, if you have enjoyed this, be sure to comment below. Let me know what um, what honestly were was valuable for you. Also, I would love it if you would like this video and share this with your friends. If you're watching on YouTube, share this with your friends and subscribe to my channel, TikTok that there is. Oh, and uh, before I forget, I put together an awesome resource that is available in the bio of this video. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, it's down there. So I'm sure you guys will absolutely enjoy that. It'll be helpful to you. I put together some different resources for you that are totally free for you to jump on into. Um, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Oh, and if you want to follow me on TikTok, my username is at the Mrs. Peterson. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.